Ciao a tutti, this is Stefano and today I have a tutorial to improve a sky like this one here on my back, absolutely blown out and white. But before going into that, just want to mention that we have a new sponsor, it's called Wax. It's a service provider connected with 64K line ISDN. It's a brand new technology and you can plan your website with HTML1, which is again a new language. In about six days, you can have your homepage and a couple of other posts up. Incredible, isn't it? But let's get into Darktable. Well, I hope you're still with me and not jump straight away to the Wax website, incredible offer 64K speed. Now let's jump into Darktable and um, I go to this photo I just made here with a white blown out sky. I adjust a little bit of exposure to take out some of the details here from uh, the shadow area. And uh, overall, uh, it's uh, well exposed this photo, except for the sky, obviously. And I want to add a little bit more of a drama into the sky. And uh, there are a few easy things that you can do for that. The first one is to go into the basic adjustment. And instead of adjust the whole photo, you want to adjust just the part of the sky. And to do that, you go into a mask and you go into the gradient mask. In this way, you're gonna apply the improvement only to the upper part of the photo into the sky. So let's do it up to here. Once you apply the gradient, you can decide how big is the transition area with the shift and the scroll button on your mouse, as you see here. And you can decide also the opacity, which by default is 24%, but we're gonna change that later on. Now, what do we do to the sky? I would say that uh, we decrease a little bit of exposure maybe two, three stops down. And um, you can add a little bit of a contrast and take down the brightness as well. Now, it doesn't look like we have done that much, but the reason is that the opacity of this filter is only 24%. To increase the opacity of the filter, you just click on the control button on your keyboard and then the scroll into your mouse. And you see that I am increasing 59% now. I can go on a little bit more and that's it. Now, when you are happy with opacity, which is really a personal thing, then the job is finished. You may tweak a little bit here and there, like I, I want to add a little bit more of a contrast to make it even more dramatic, the sky. The other adjustment that you can do is to go into the local contrast module, activate it, and uh, increase the details into the sky and uh, make it even more dramatic. But as you can see, I'm increasing the details also in the lower part of the photo. If I want to increase it only in the sky, what I can do, I can use the same mask that I've used before. I go here into the mask, draw mask, and I select the last one, the gradient number three that I've just used before. And in this way, it's gonna do the changes only on the upper part of the photo. To see where actually the mask is applied, you can go in this icon here below, and you toggle and you see the yellow area is where you have the changes done. Just keep in mind that when you apply the changes is with an opacity of 24%, so control and the wheel, and you can increase a little bit of the opacity on the sky again. And finally, let's add a little bit more of a drum in the sky, again into the details here, and that's pretty much it. It looks like there's a big storm around, more drama, and that's what I wanted to do in this exercise. And let's see the difference before and after. We go into the history stack. I just compress it because I've done different changes, and I go before and after. So quite a dramatic change. This is just to say how many details are stored into your raw files. If you shoot in JPEG, obviously you're not gonna come out with all of these details in the sky. Now, there is one thing I don't like particularly of the job I've done until now, which is basically the mask is also working on this tree and the other tree here on the right and is making it dark as well. And this is something I want to avoid. I want to apply the mask only to the sky and nothing else around. But that's easy to do it. Let's go back to the basic adjustments and let's do that. Now, you see that the adjustment is done also on these trees here. And what I need to do in this case, let's open it again, 
Instead of using a drone mask, I need to use a drone and a parametric mask to isolate only the sky. Now let's go into the parametric mask session and select the luminosity channel for the HSL. And then we go down into the input and what we do into this input meter, we decide which area should we work on. And to have a better visibility on what we are doing on the mask, I suggest to actually highlight and display the mask and you see that it is yellow here. Now you can see that the mask has been applied also on the tree and the top of this roof. If we want to apply it only in the sky, we take the input meter and we increase it a tiny bit in order to work only on the sky and not work on the rest of the photo. And um, I show you what's happening now to the photo and you see that it is so much better. You can see before and after and we still have our trees bright as in the original photo compared to the previous which is here where also the trees become dark. So why do we have a top and a lower slide? Uh, to explain it a little bit better, I want to zoom in into the photo here. With the two sliders here, you define the transition area where the mask is applied. And you want it to keep it a little bit wide because if you keep it too close, you're gonna have hard edges where the mask is applied. And um, let me do it here. I go right with no transition here, you see that you have this hard edge. Of course, the mask is applied perfectly only to the bright side, but you don't want to have this hard edge. What you do, you increase the area of transition and then these hard edges are gonna disappear. Now let's zoom out again and we toggle the mask on and we see how it is applied only to the sky and between the trees, but not to the trees and the leaves themselves. And the beauty of Darktable is that you can use now this mask in any other module that you want to use to improve your sky. And you see this mask into the mask manager here. Gradient tree is the mask that I have just applied. And I can change the name of it so I know what it is about. I can put, for example, uh, sky improvement. That's done. And now that I go back to the, for example, local contrast, I can increase the details of uh, the sky here, but I want to apply only the drawing parametric mask that I've created before. And I use the sky improvement and it's only applied to the top here. And I can increase the opacity to 100% to make it even more, as you can see before and after. You can use this sky improvement mask that you have created, for example, to in the color zone here where you want to improve the blue part of your sky. That's another way to improve your sky. And honestly, the hardest part to do an improvement to the sky is to define your mask. But once it's done, you can use it in any module that you can think of. And that's pretty much it about the sky. Now, don't leave the video without a like. I really appreciate that and subscribe to the channel and tick that little bell but most importantly use Woxa the incredible web service provider that can give you up to 64k speed on your server obviously you have to share this band with other websites but you know 64k is a lot I see you in the next video ciao ciao